welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly. Today, we're going to be talking about how to use VLOOKUP from a table array. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see here, uh, I have my Excel file open alongside my Excel chat article. And basically, I just have a menu here with certain items, hot dog, hamburger, chicken sandwich, things like that, and the associated prices. And here in this column, in column D, I have all of the items that sold listed out individually. So I could either copy one by one the price in, or I could use VLOOKUP, which will automatically find the associated prices for all of these items, uh, put them into the price column, and then I can add it up down here using a sum function. So obviously we're gonna use the latter, and that is what this video is about. So the basic formula is right here. You can follow along as I do it in the, in the uh, Excel file here. So first I'm gonna put equals VLOOKUP. I'm going to reference cell D3. Now the key here uh, when we're doing this next part is when you highlight this table over here, we want to make sure that we reference the cell and anchor it. We want to make sure that we anchor it. That's the most important part. If we don't, then the formula is not going to work. So uh, remember to anchor. It's kind of like those little dollar signs, but the easiest way to do it is just hit function four and it automatically does it for you. Super easy to do. So make sure you hit function four and you anchor those cells. Uh, now it's asking for the column index. What does it want me to put? in column E, and that would be prices, which is the second column in the first table. And then lastly, I'm gonna put false because I want an exact match instead of approximate. Now I'm gonna hit enter. As you can see, the price popped up right there, $1, but I just don't want this one. I want all of them. So I'm just gonna go here and I can take this little um, black cross here and drag it all the way down. And as you can see, it's filled in all the prices for all of the items by looking up into this table to reference. And at the end, I can just do equals sum and highlight all of that, enter. And $25 is our answer. And if we look here in the Excel chat article, we can see that is the final answer. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel chat.